Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and this is Rincey Reads. I thought today I would just do kind of like a quick read more comics wrap up sort of video. Um, I don't have a lot of comics to talk about here because I didn't read that much, but I'm glad that I read some. In the future I need to be better about like my life and scheduling and stuff like that. Uh, I realized that I had a lot going on over the weekend, which originally I thought would be okay, or at least I thought I had like a manageable amount of things, but it turned out I had more things packed into my weekend at the end of the week uh, than I thought I was going to. So that sort of like threw a wrench into what I wanted to do during this readathon. But again, I'm just glad that I kind of did it and got through some comics that have been sitting on my shelf for quite a while. And it was nice to have some of you guys joining along with me. Uh, I was following along with the hashtag on Twitter and Instagram and things like that. And it was really nice to see some of you guys getting uh, through some of the comics that have been sitting on your like to be read pile for a while too. So I found that to be like more encouraging than anything else. Like I would see your guys's tweets and stuff like that and I would remember to prioritize my reading. But I also have to give myself a little bit of grace and remind myself that this is a season of life where I am prioritizing certain things over others and reading has taken sort of a backseat. Like I'm still reading a decent amount of books all the time and I have to like remind myself of that but I'm definitely not reading as much as I did last year which is fine. Like I'm still reading a lot. So yeah I'm happy with what I did if only because I did something because there's a very good chance that I wouldn't have picked up either of these comics that I read during the week for a very very long time. So anyways uh, I finished two comics over the course of the week uh, because I read zero things over the weekend. I was really hoping I would get through one or two over the weekend but that didn't happen. Um, so the first one I read was Aya Love in Yap City. I decided to pick this one up first because this is like a thicker heavier book so I didn't want to carry this one around and so I was working from home on Monday and I didn't have anything going Going on in my schedule really on Monday and Tuesday of last week. So I decided this would be a good one to pick up because I knew I would be spending more time at home on Monday and Tuesday than I would the rest of the week. This is basically like the continuation slash conclusion to the other Aya book that I have talked about before. So in the first book I think it's like a omnibus of Aya 1, 2, and 3 and this is 4, 5, and 6. I will say that it was hard for me to get into this originally because I forgot how large the cast of characters is in this comic and I had like basically forgotten who everyone was because it's been like four or five years since I read the first um, omnibus and it was hard for me to remember like everyone's relationship to each other, where everyone was at the end of that first set and everything like that. So it took a while to get used to it. Um, they do provide this sort of character guide so you can kind of understand everyone's relationship to each other or relatively, um, which is helpful. But still, there's a lot that happens in here. And another thing I forgot about the Aya comics is that it's basically like you're following like 14 different characters or something like that. And each character gets like a page or two and then you switch perspectives. And so you're constantly switching between different scenes and stuff like that. So you never really settle into one specific storyline for a significant portion of time. You're just constantly jumping perspectives. It reminded me a lot of like a soap opera. And so I think if you know that going into it, you'll have an easier time digesting it. Um, again, I just forgot everything about Aya. So it took me time to get into this story, but it is just like a drama filled ridiculous over the top comic but this one specifically starts to address some slightly more serious issues which I really appreciated. So yeah these comics are just like slice of life stories and I think that if you are in the mood for something like that and something a little bit different the eye of books are really really great. And then the other comic I read last week was the Clue comic that I had picked up. This was really interesting. I didn't know that much about it really going into it uh, but this is kind of an original take on Clue or not original I should say but it's like you know not based on anything else it's just like has the characters names and stuff like that. This group of characters are invited to Mr. Body's house and after dinner he's found dead and then over the course of these six issues a couple of other characters die and other things occur and it's about like basically figuring out what's going on obviously. It's a really interesting mystery like there are some interesting twists and turns that are taken in here. Um, there is a character in here the butler who is basically like your narrator and he breaks the fourth wall and they break the fourth wall pretty severely. I'm not going to say more than that, but it's like Deadpool level 
breaking the fourth wall, not just like addressing the audience, but it even goes beyond that. Um, and the way that it all wraps up is a very interesting choice. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but I will say that I didn't see that choice coming. So that's something. So yeah, the problem with this comic and I think in general with like comics that are these shorter runs is like there's not a lot of character development really and it's all a little bit contrived, but I am kind of okay with that. Like this is not like a comic like the fade out which is a mystery but that one is like significantly longer of a run and stuff like that so they have more time to develop characters and to develop the mystery and stuff like that this was only six issues so they could only do so much so yeah i think that this is like worth getting from the library if you want something kind of silly or i shouldn't say silly but kind of just like different and a different type of mystery comic uh but i, I don't necessarily say like run out to your comic book store and buy it today it's different and i kind of want to see um what idw is doing with their new clue comic too now so yeah that's everything um i probably will be trying to get to some of the other comics that i have over the course of the month if only because you know a couple of them are from the library and i will need to return them so i would like to read them before i return them but yeah that's basically all I got through over the course of the week. Again, I wish I had gotten through more, but life and such. Um, so let me know down in the comments below if you've read either of these comics or if you have any questions about them um, or if you were participating at all, definitely let me know down below how the week went for you. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.